Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia. Today's episode is number 425. The category will be characters from novels. This is a 20 question quiz with a 21st question tiebreaker at the very end if you need it. These questions all come from the best novels of all time and it's the most memorable characters from those novels. So thank you for watching. Good luck. Question one. The titular character of F. Scott Fitzgerald's 1925 novel who is a millionaire and the owner of a luxurious mansion where he often hosts extravagant parties. What man is described by the novel's narrator Nick Carraway as having an extraordinary gift for hope? That character is Jay Gatsby. Question 2. A beautiful 19-year-old who lives in the same building as the narrator, what is the name of the striking and self-sufficient young woman in Truman Capote's 1958 novella, Breakfast at Tiffany's? The answer is Holly Golightly. Question number three. The protagonist of Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind, what is the name of the dark-haired, green-eyed Georgia Bell who exhibits more of her father's hard-headedness than her mother's refined southern manners? The answer is Scarlett O'Hara. Question number four. First appearing as a character in J.M. Barrie's 1902 novel, The Little White Bird, what is the name of the seven-day-old baby who has flown from his nursery to Kensington Gardens in London and who would go on to star in many more novels and films? The answer is Peter Pan. Question number five. An icon for teenage rebellion and angst, what is the name of the fictional character in J.D. Salinger's 1951 novel, The Catcher in the Rye? The answer is Holden Caulfield. Question number six. Co-owner of the Hat Creek Outfit and former Texas Ranger, what is the name of the character from Larry McMurtry's 1985 western novel Lonesome Dove who has a fondness for alcohol, gambling, and women of ill repute? His name was Gus McRae. Question number seven. In the books by A. A. Milne, which character is the pessimistic, gloomy, depressed, anhedonic, old gray stuffed donkey who is a friend of the title character, Winnie the Pooh? The answer is Eeyore. Question number eight. In the 1973 fantasy romance novel by American writer William Goldman, what Princess Bride character first politely introduces himself by name, then says, you killed my father, prepare to die. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. Question number nine. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, 
Nagini was killed by a student using Godric Gryffindor's sword and was the final Horcrux to be destroyed after Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. Which character wielded the sword? That would be Neville Longbottom. Question number 10. The everyman hero of Ulysses, James Joyce's 1922 reworking of the Odyssey, what is the name of the 38-year-old with a Hungarian Jewish father and an Irish Catholic mother who works as an ad canvasser for the Freeman's Journal newspaper? His name was Leopold Bloom. Question 11. Playing a minor role in the actual plot, what character in Herman Melville's 1851 novel Moby Dick introduces himself in the opening line and serves as the first person narrator for much of the book? The opening line is, Call me Ishmael. Question number 12. The protagonist in Mary Shelley's 1818 novel, what Italian Swiss scientist studied the chemical processes and the decay of living things, gains an insight into the creation of life, and then gives life to his own creature? The answer is Victor Frankenstein. Question 13. The son of the town's vagrant drunkard, Pap, what fictional character created by Mark Twain first appeared in the book The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but is better known as the protagonist and narrator of its sequel? The answer is Huckleberry Finn. Question 14. 1939's The Grapes of Wrath begins just after he is paroled from McAllister Prison, where he has been incarcerated after being convicted of homicide in self-defense. What character takes his family from Oklahoma to California during the Great Depression? The answer is Tom Jode. Question 15. Created by British author Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, what consulting detective that first appeared in the late 1800s is known for his proficiency with observation, deduction, forensic science, and logical reasoning that borders on the fantastic? The answer is Sherlock Holmes. Question 16. Although she does not actually find it herself, what is the name of the immature, overindulged, and manipulative young girl who becomes the second golden ticket winner in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory before being discarded by the egg decator as a bad egg? The bad egg was Veruca Salt. Question 17. The narrator of Daniel Defoe's 1719 novel survives a shipwreck and meets an escaped prisoner who he names Friday. Who is the character whose name is used to define a genre of imitations and sequels, not only in literature but also in film, television, and radio? The answer is Robinson Crusoe. Question 18. 
The only novel written by Oscar Wilde was an 1890 story about what man, who sells his soul to pursue a libertine life of varied amoral experiences while staying young and beautiful, all the while a portrait of him ages and fades instead. The answer is Dorian Gray. Question 19. The protagonist of Victor Hugo's 1862 novel, Les Miserables, what character endures a 19-year-long struggle to lead a normal life after serving a prison sentence for stealing bread to feed his sister's children? The answer is Jean Valjean. Question number 20. One of the most prominent citizens in Maycomb during the Great Depression, yet unable to abide the town's comfortable ingrained racial prejudice, what fictional character agrees to defend Tom Robinson, a black man, in To Kill a Mockingbird? The answer is Atticus Finch. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trippia. Check back tomorrow. We'll be doing, I believe it's the first of the month. So tomorrow will be March Trivia. And then we'll have a brainy Tuesday on Tuesday. Wednesday will be March Birthdays. Those are famous people or people you may know whose birthdays are in March. Then we will have a regular week of trivia quizzes and end it with Trebek's Trivia on Friday. Thank you for watching today. Email us if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or complaints. Roadtrivia at gmail.com Here is question 21, the tiebreaker. Portrayed as a woman condemned by her Puritan neighbors, what character, who was sentenced to wear a red A for the rest of her life, has been called among the first and most important female protagonists in American literature? This was The Scarlet Letter, and her name was Hester Prynne. That's it for today. Have a great evening. See you tomorrow.